Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today I come to bring you a new vision, a new moment, a moment of extreme delicacy, a profound moment of great changes. You beg us, you ask us, you want everything to happen quickly. Many think only of themselves, who want to be far from this dimension that you live in, they can't take it anymore. Many think of themselves, but they also think of their brothers, who will be able to have access to everything they don't have today, and will be able to live a less painful, less troubled life. And of course there are those who want everything to happen, but at the same time, for it to be delayed enough so that they don't lose all the pleasures and habits they have in this dimension. Who is wrong? Who is right? There is no right and wrong, there is each person's choice. Everyone imagines and emanates in whatever way they want, and it is clear that each form has a consequence. The lessons are there, they arrive every minute and everyone at this point in the journey should already be able to identify them. There's no point asking us, there's no point asking us, what lessons I still have to learn it would be like a teacher giving you a test cheat sheet and you would pass with a 10. So don't ask this question. The question has to be, how can I always be aware of the lessons that will appear, so that I don't miss them? This is the question. And I also already have an answer, being more and more, vibrating loudly, getting closer and closer to us. Because when this happens, we ourselves, your masters, Ensure that the lessons are presented to you, but in a luminous way that is perceptible from any angle. And of course we will be together at this moment, to also help you with how to get out of that lesson. So this is the time. The time to observe, pay attention, identify the lesson and go through it. It's not sweeping it under the rug, it's not pretending you didn't see it, it's not thinking you're incompetent. It's knowing that the time has come for a big choice, a big decision, a turning point many times in your life. And for those who are actually following the walk, the lessons are coming quickly, because it is the time for cleaning, it is the time to leave everything behind. For those who are not yet doing the raise walk, I ask, why the fear, why the resistance? This is the best way for you to transmute everything for you to find the way to eliminate that lesson. Then present the lesson to the masters, at the time of meditation. It will come as something from inside the bag and you will have their help at that moment, for the transmutation. So why so much resistance, why so many excuses, why keep throwing it into someone else's lap? I don't know how to do it, I can't find it it's always the other person who is complicated the other person is the problem, because the other person simply hasn't put in their hands, in their lap, what needs to be done. I've said it here several times, get off the grid. Whoever seeks finds. Whoever wants to find it, we can help. Because if there is a deep feeling in your heart of finding something to help you, as if by magic, we will bring it to you. But for this of course, you have to ask for our help you have to trust that we will help you. So realize that everything has our involvement, you can achieve everything easily with our help. But for that you need to ask. It's not simply having a problem and thinking that we're there watching and will help you. Your free will prevents us from taking action without you allowing us to do so. So what's the problem? Fear? Fear of what? To discover that shadow side of your journey? None of you are 100% light, if you were, you would be on another plane, no longer here in the third dimension, they would be masters in very high dimensions. So everyone has their own shadow percentage. They don't want to see the shadows, why? You are third dimensional beings, and third dimensional beings have shadows, because it is part of the walk. It is part of putting your foot in the light and putting your foot in the shadow so that this is also a lesson. Someone presents you with a fruit that you have never eaten. How do you know what that fruit tastes like? You will only know if you try it, 
so how do you know what the shadow is? You have to step there, you have to know what it is to emanate non-light, so that you can make a decision not to step there again. Just like fruit, if the fruit is tasty you will eat it several times, but if you don't like it, if you don't feel good about the taste of the fruit, you won't eat it again. So why the fear of the shadow? Why the fear of discovering that you are not as saintly as you think you are? I have already said here, you all have stains in your souls, all without exception. So discovering that you are not 100% light makes you very upset? Does it make you very disappointed? So I ask, why? Those were other times, other paths, other experiences. You are not there at this moment to know, if I weren't there, I would do the same thing. So don't judge yourself, don't point the finger at your soul. What's done is done, there's no way to take an eraser and erase it. So now is the time to transmute all of this. No, you are not cleaning anything, you are not undoing any occasion. You are transmuting feelings, emanating energies, and each of them has a price and serves to make you realize that you should not repeat them. At the end of the transmutation on the walk, the lesson will have to be learned, so that you do not repeat the same lesson in this life. So seeing your path, seeing the path of your soul is not an easy thing. You have to be very willing to catch yourself doing things that today you discriminate against, today you don't accept but that your soul did. So I tell you, why the judgment? And then, you need to extend everything that you discover, which was not so beautiful, done by your souls, to the present day. How to judge a brother who does the same thing? You did it then, he's doing it now. Times keep happening. So, today he still doesn't have the discernment to not make that mistake again, he made it way back when, and his soul liked the fruit and continues eating it constantly, making the same mistake. He was not able to realize that this was not good for him. You judge him today, because his soul, today, realizes that he can no longer make that mistake, but you cannot judge him, because one day you committed exactly what he does today. So my brothers, don't be afraid of anything, don't be afraid to know what you were, what you did. If you today abhor everything that your souls once did, be grateful to your souls, because they took a journey of evolution, so that today you recriminate all of that, so that today you no longer repeat that, don't feel like repeating it. So instead of recriminating your souls, thank them for bringing you here today, as beings of good, as beings of light and no longer as beings trapped in feelings, of very low vibration. So once again, I ask you, do the ray walk, cleanse yourself of all that dirt. And now we need to be ready for a new phase. And when I insist, I and everyone else, that you do this cleansing in your souls, it is because you need to have already transmuted many feelings. You need to learn to stop judging, to stop condemning, to stop rebelling, to stop feeling hatred. Only by transmuting what your own soul has already done will you learn this. What we want. We want you to hear all the truths and shout loud and clear to the universe, gratitude to my soul, for today I am able to not commit any of this. This is where we want you to arrive. It's not judging, it's not revolting, it's not inciting others to revolt. It's simply seeing that there are brothers, in fact, they are your brothers, because all of you in the universe, regardless of their soul and physical appearance, they are brothers, because they are all children of the same father or mother God, they all have his spark, no matter their appearance, no matter their race. See.